Something a little bit different for this update on the second day of leg three of the Ocean Race Europe and that is looking at the tracker which has had a major upgrade for leg three. Until now we've been just reliant on using it to track the boats but it now actually predicts the future as to what the routes are going to be taken i.e. routing options have been added. There are still some drawbacks I could really do with VMG on this I'll explain a little bit more about VMG later. So when we look at the course we can now see as they made their way towards the scoring gate and it's quite a bit clearer than it was just using the tracker option on the website. I'll put the link for that in the description of this video so that you can see where the fleet are. And there you can see they made their way past Marmanor, all the way north up that Spanish coastline past this exclusion zone where they chose to take that inland route and then up towards the Balearic Island starting off with Ibiza and then on to Mallorca where they currently are before they go to the north of Minorca. Approaching the western tip of Mallorca you can see that the fleet have split into three distinct groups. We've got Holson PRB and Biotherm battling out for the lead and they've been exchanging the lead quite regularly. Then Patrick Arkea, Melizia and Alagrande Mape battling out for third and then b to positive slightly ahead of Team Amala. The changes come when you let the tracker go beyond the live position and you'll see predicted route then on that timeline at the bottom. And this is where Predict Wind is using what its knowledge of the weather is to predict where the boats are going to go. As you can see, it still remains in that grouping as we saw before. But the further you get on, the boats start to bunch together. So I'm not entirely sure they've got this exactly right yet. And as you can see, the routes very, very little difference between them. You can see here they start to get the breeze behind them as they get further across to the east. But look at that, it all bunches together. Is this actually how it's going to happen? Time will tell, but I'm a little bit sceptical about that at the moment. I'm not going to bore you with how it goes on further than this because they're all following a very, very similar route. On the tracker we can see various statistics for the boats. We've got boat speed, distance to the finish and also distance to the leader. And click on any of the boats and you get a little bit more information. Their wind speed, you can see their Team Holsim PRB currently just 2.1 knots of wind speed and has averaged 5.9 knots over the last four hours. And then there's a more button and we can see even more statistics. Distance to second place, 0.8 nautical miles, and maximum speed in the last 24 hours is 19 knots, gain on second 0.2 knots, and so more information. And you can actually then also go to viewing the live telemetry. And you get a whole page with the information, their heading, their heel angle, pitch, yaw, and their true wind direction, maximum 356, minimum 4, the mean wind direction, standard deviation, true wind angle, true wind speed, apparent wind angle, apparent wind speed, but still no VMG. And this is the statistic I really want to see. There are really two acronyms of note here, both VMG and VMC. VMG is velocity made good and VMC is velocity made good on course. And what it calculates is how quickly you are going towards the wind or how quickly you're actually going away from the wind if you're going downwind. And it's calculated by your speed over the ground multiplied by the cosine of the angle to or from the wind depending on whether you're upwind or downwind. And so if you're going at an angle of 55 degrees to the wind at a speed of four knots, your VMG is 2.3 knots. And so this is how quickly you're going towards the wind or again, if going downwind, how quickly you're going away for, from the wind. Because a boat, of course, can't go directly into the wind, and an Imoka yacht won't go directly downwind like you can in some symmetrical boats, you're going to be jibing. And so this VMG becomes very important. 
VMC is then velocity made good on course and that is where you are doing your speed relative to the next mark and again extremely useful because if you're not pointing directly at the mark you need to know that speed that you're making towards it because quite often if you're looking for the wind you might be pointing 80 to 90 degrees away from the mark and so if you're 90 degrees away from your next mark trying to get to the next weather system your VMC is actually zero. Wikipedia is a great source of information for this and I've put a link to this page in the description of this video together with that link for the tracker. The good news is that the team at Predict Wind are very responsive to ideas for the tracker and so hopefully soon we will see both VMG and VMC in this telemetry information as standard. I hope you found this little video useful. We've got all the latest news of the race on sailworld.com and yachtsandyachting.com and if you liked it please do subscribe to our channel using the button down here. Many thanks for watching.